Well, one of my goals this spring was to set up a mallard nesting tube. Mallards are those big green-headed ducks that we see almost everywhere. It's the males that have the green heads and the females that are sort of a drab camouflage brown for the sake of uh, when they do their nesting. They can be kind of big and aggressive ducks. And every year, somewhere between two and three million of mallards are harvested by hunters. But studies have shown that hunting actually has a negligible effect on their populations. The number one factor is nesting habitat. And that's why I'm putting up this mallard tube. Maybe you give them a break. And if I'm lucky, they'll raise a brood here on the pond this spring. It begins with an inch and a half square tube, about eight feet long. It's made of 11 gauge steel. And I have holes drilled in it at the end, probably about eight to nine inches down from the end. I put those holes in two different planes so I could turn my nest if I need to do that. My pole is eight feet long. And since you want that nest to be about three to four feet above the water, and I'm probably gonna need about two feet in the mud at the bottom of the pond, I'm really looking at about three foot of water and I gotta find that right depth. This is a problem. Too deep. This cradle is one inch square. You can see that there. It's made of 14 gauge metal. The post behind me is 11 gauge. These are one quarter inch round uh, pieces of solid wire. And this is 18 inches here, 30 inches here. We've got holes drilled through it at regular intervals. And this way we can adjust the height of the actual nesting tube. The holes I have drilled are three eighths inch I'm going to use this with a lock washer. This is stainless steel and a bolt, two inch bolt that goes through. But actually I think maybe something like this, it would be more practical because I know sure as shooting, it's just a matter of time before I drop at least part of these in the water. Okay, now we're going to make the mallard nesting tube. This is a uh, 16 gauge wire. It probably could have been 14 gauge. Uh, one reference even said you could go 12 and a half gauge. That's because uh, d geese and ducks like to sit on the top and you don't want it to squash down. It's one by two mesh. And just as a reference, I'm going to go to the 36 inch mark to make about a 12 inch inside diameter tube. And I'm just going to attach it with zip ties. I'll be maintenance in it every year anyway. And now what we're going to do is lay some hay in here and roll it right into the tube. I want to make it get up in here. I want to make it thick enough so that it becomes windproof, but not so thick we can't roll it. Okay, so now we're just clip these off. They have to be able to see all the way through, but we're going to stuff some. Uh, hay in there to give them some nesting material. Finished product, sort of. I've kind of tamped down the grass in here to, on the bed so that the ducks can see all the way through here. And now we have a secure nest. Let's see if a duck uses it this year. And this is what you'll see. We're gonna put a camera on this and we're gonna see if we get some action. I hope you found this as interesting and maybe it's a project that you would like to do. Thanks so much for watching.